All righty. Happy Wednesday, friends. Welcome. Uh, my name is Erin. I think most of us are familiar. This is our power two. Just a reminder, there is a mask ordinance still in the state of Colorado, so only you can exempt yourself on the four corners of your space. And then keep an eye out on events. We've got a bunch of a whole array of things coming up, uh, especially as part of the teacher training. You don't have to be a teacher to be a part of those. So if anything catches your eye, come talk to us. And then for tonight, you guys have any requests? Any body areas, postures? No, it's all fair game. <laughs> okay, let's start in a child's pose. And bring your knees wide and then ground your forehead to the earth. Take a moment to fully arrive. Take up space on your mat. And then friends at home, we'll cue our playlist right away. Hitting play in three, two, and one. And begin to notice the texture of your breath. And then allow the outer edges of your hips, your shoulders to become a little heavier towards the end. Let's start with a couple cleansing breaths. Take a deep inhale, fill into all four sides of your ribcage. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that, really deep inhale. And then exhale, let something leave. And then seal your lips, find your ujjayi breath. And as you arrive here, really exaggerate the length of your inhale. Maybe there's even a little sound to your breath. And then options here. You could stay softened in child's pose. Option to activate, press into your palms, reach your spine long, or maybe reverse prayer with your palms. Bring your palms to touch and then drop your thumbs to the nape of your neck. If you're taking that variation, press into your elbow. And then right here in this shape, we'll start to invoke a quality of ease. And our focus for tonight is a quality of stira sukha. It's not only at ease, but it's a balance of your ease within your effort. Beginning with your breath. Take another two really fluid, deep yogi breaths here. Fill into the back of your heart. Allow the back of your lungs to expand. See if you can find somewhere to soften with your next out breath. And then reverse prayer, slowly release. Press into your palms. Use your full inhale, rise through a tabletop. And begin to cultivate intuitive movement. You could give your gaze closed. And then move as quickly or as slowly as your body likes here. Just correlate it with your breath. And then option to move side to side. Maybe you extend further back and forth. You could start to find a child's pose to a seal. It's really curious with your breath, within sensation in your physical. And you've got about 10 more seconds here. Maybe you start to articulate a little more through your neck, through your sitting bones. And then finish up the round that you're on and even it out. Pause back in a neutral spine. Fed your, spread your fingers as wide as they go. Crawl your palms forward, one full palm print, and find downward facing down. You can take a couple full rounds of breath as you arrive. Nice transition, Kathy. And then down dog, pause all together in stillness. Find a little activation through your low belly. And then press your mat away. Bring a slight bend to your knees. Shift your sitting bones higher towards the sky. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, straighten your legs. Keep your hips high. Come onto your tippy toe. Stretch through your arches. And then exhale, drop your heels one inch closer to the end. Use your full inhale like you're a wave. Allow your heart to lead the way. Find plank. 
You might lengthen slightly here. Find a long line of energy out your heel. Notice your breath. And then inhale, lift your hips back and high to the sky, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, ripple, roll forward and pause for your opera. Inhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a breath together. Take an inhale, fill. Exhale, let it go out your mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top. And as you arrive, straighten to a halfway lift, finally. Exhale, deepen your fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach your tail away from your crown. Exhale, forward fold. Ground through your feet. Soft bend, rise to stand. Sweep your arms. Beautiful. At the very top, draw your palms to touch. Exhale, press your palms to the air. And then engage your core on your next inhale. Flip your palms, reach them forward. Just keep going. Gaze, reach up. And then exhale, release your grip and make a fist at your low back. Take a full inhale, reach your fist to the earth. Exhale, hinge and fold. Option here is you settle wide in your stance, bend into your knees. Allow the crown of your head to be heavy. Come back to your breath. And then take one more inhale, press your fist towards the front slightly. Exhale by way of your low back, release your fist to the earth. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back to a plank pose and pause. On your exhale, shift forward, lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale, roll over your toes, upward facing dog. Pause, linger here for a moment. And then exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Beautiful, we'll move a little bit faster. Take an inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise. This time, exhale, back bend, peel open. Stay for an extra out breath. Then inhale, engage your core, rise to stand. Exhale, hinge and fold. And take an inhale, finally. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back and match your breath to your movement. Transition to downward facing dog. You're really nice, Anna. Down dog, inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Bottom of your exhale, float to your palms. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise. Exhale, heart towards the sky, back. Inhale, rise, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Take your halfway lift. Plant your palms, step or float back. Your breath to your movement. And then down dog, you have two to three full breaths to settle. Can you find that same quality of ease here? So down dog, still a very active shape. Let's take a breath all together. Take an inhale, fill. Exhale, let it go out your mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top. Find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, ukatasana, sit back and low. Then take your time, really settle in here. Rock a little more weight in your heels, sit one inch deeper. Gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Take your halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back. And then no rush here. And down dog, use your full inhale, extend your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, bend at your right knee, open through your right hip. Take a couple breaths, maybe movement. And then pause, keep your hip open, exhale, shift forward, left, right knee, right upper arm, give it a tap. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl, shift forward. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, knee to nose, step through lightly. Warrior one, spiral your back foot to 45, and then square your hips as you rise. Take a little bounce, settling. Knit your low ribs in, sit one inch deeper, gaze up. Exhale, your hands to the air. Step back, plank pose. Option to float your right leg this side. Beautiful. 
Beautiful transitions. Down dog, ground through your right heel. Use your inhale, fan your left toes towards the sky. Exhale, bend at your left knee, open through your left hip. Couple breaths. Pause in stillness. Exhale, left knee, left upper arm. Give it a tap. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, knee to nose, step through lightly. Use your inhale, ground and rise, warrior one. Take your time, set it up. Find your little micro adjustments, nice mean and settle in. And an option to gaze towards your fingertips. Exhale, drop your fingers to the mat and step back. Option to float your left leg this side. Nice, Jackie. Down dog, take a full inhale as you arrive. Exhale, run it out your mouth, release. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit back and low. Like you've been here before, right? Find your depth, nice, Erica. And then cue change here, coming into eagle on the left. Bring your left arm under. And then take a moment, settle in vinyasa eagle, press your elbows forward first. Shift your weight, bring your left leg up and over. And your first time here, stabilize through your midline, sit a little bit deeper. Lengthen your spine. Keep your arms, inhale, standing knee raise. Exhale, kick your left heel back. And then land softly, warrior one. <laughs> Inhale, reach your elbows towards the sky. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, plank pose, option to flow. <laughs> Down dog, inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana. On the right, exhale, right arm under, and then take your time here. If you want a little micro movement, side to side, up, down with your elbows, sit deep. And then settle in for a breath. Rock more weight into your standing heel. Sit a little bit deeper. Inhale, right knee rises. Exhale, step back, warrior one. Keep your arms. And then on your inhale, lift through your elbows, lift your gaze. Exhale, unwind, drop your palms to the earth and step back, plank pulse, option to flow. And down dog again, two full rounds of breath as you arrive. Notice the quality, the length of your breath. Slow it down. <laughs> Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top, take a halfway lift. Exhale, full. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana, sit back and low. Just regular chair this time. <laughs> Exhale, drop your palms to the earth, plant your palms. Option to add in a crow pose to float back or just take it through a flow. We'll meet in downward facing dog crow if you're playing, engage your core a lot. Really nice focus. And then on an exhale, if you're shooting back, more of a trust fall. <laughs> Bent elbow. Nice, Mina. <laughs> we'll set up our flow. Down dog, inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curve. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose, step through lightly. Ground through your fingertips, engage your core, belly up and off your thigh, and then float your fingers, come into airplane through your torso, and then engage through your shoulder blades, gaze down slightly forward, inhale to a five-pointed star, open up, and take a little shimmy, a little shake as you ground and reach, and then draw your palms to touch overhead, exhale your hands to your heart, got it, sit deep. This is the first time here. Take a couple breaths as you settle in. Option to add in twists, maybe lateral movements. And then variations meet back in center. Draw your palms to your heart. Sit one inch deeper in your hips. Inhale, keep your hips low. Sweep your arms high. Exhale, press your palms to your heart. This time, inhale, rise and reach. Exhale, find warrior two to the front. Settle in. 
Let's take a couple little bounces. And then where's your gaze? Bring it over your right fingertips. Sit a little bit deeper. Inhale to reverse warrior gaze. <laughs> Stay here. Gaze towards your right fingertips. If you need a visual option to gaze forward, we're going to do some fancy arm movements. Drop your right arm in front of your face like it's a spiral. And you're making a big circle. Sweep into extended side angle. And then settle for a breath. Broaden through your heart. Reach through your left fingertips. And then option to gaze this way. If you want a visual, we're going to move in a mandala shape. Use your inhale to rise. Find reverse warrior. One more time. Exhale. Drop your right arm. Spiral into extended. And then one more time. This time, breath to movement. Inhale, rise. Exhale, drop and reach. Extend. Beautiful. This time, inhale, rise. Reverse trikonasana. Exhale your hands to the earth. Step back, plank pose. You are brought to your movement. Down dog, take a full in breath. Exhale, send it out your mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, extend your left heel. Exhale, knee to nose, compress just one time. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, rise on your inhale. Oh, just kidding, float your arm. <laughs> Coming into a flying crescent. Really nice engagement. Stay for an inhale. Deepen on your out breath. Really nice breath. Inhale, spiral open, five-pointed star. Take up space, ground through your feet, reach. And then draw your palms to touch overhead like you're pulling energy towards your heart. Sit deep into your hips. And then just settle, just one breath here this time. Keep your hips low. Inhale, sweep your arms high. Exhale, press it deeper. Inhale, sweep and rise, five-pointed stop. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Take your time, settle in. Like you're drawing energy up through the soles of your feet. And then sit deeper into your stance, soften your face. Inhale, reach forward to reverse. Then we'll settle here for a breath. Reach your left hip, tip away from your left fingertip. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop your left palm in front of your face and spiral into extended side angle. Settle for a breath, broaden through your heart, reach through your right fingertip. And then on your inhale, slowly rise. Keep the bend in your left knee. Exhale, reverse. And drop your palm and spiral into extended side angle. We've got one more. Use your inhale. There's no rush. Rise. Exhale. One more time. Extend. Really beautiful movement. Inhale. This time reverse trikonasana. Take it back. Exhale. Your hands to the mat. Step back. Plank pose. Option to flow. You can always skip, modify, spice it up. Nice handstands back there. Beautiful down dog, take a full inhale. Exhale, let it go out your mouth. <laughs> inhale, extend your right foot. Exhale, knee to nose. And for real this time, rise high crescent lunge, normal high crescent. <laughs> inhale. This time, exhale, fly through your torso. Inhale to a five pointed star, spiral open. Exhale, goddess, sit deep. Inhale, five pointed star, take up space. Exhale, warrior two to the front, settling. Inhale, reverse your warrior, gaze high. Exhale, drop your right palm and spiral into extended side angle just once this time. Inhale, reverse trikonasana, take it back. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back, plank pose. And find your way to downward facing dog. And down dog, take a deep inhale, fill. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Beautiful. Inhale, fan your left toes towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curve. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose, high crescent lunge. Use your inhale, rise. Exhale, crescent airplane, fly. Inhale, five-pointed star, reach. Exhale, goddess, pulse, sit deep. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, drop your palm. Find extended side angle on your in-breath. Settle, inhale, reverse trikonasana, take it back. 
Exhale your hands to the mat. Step back. Your breath to your movement. Beautiful. This time, down dog. Inhale, roll forward like you're a wave. Find a high plank pose. You have the option to stay here. Puff through the back of your heart. Maybe you drop to your forearm. And keep puffing through the back of your heart space. Send a long line of energy out your heels. In this moment, can you use your breath? Lengthen it. Maybe forceful exhales to find that quality of ease, even in this shape. And then notice where your thoughts, your mind are deep in your breath. You can always spice it up, add on if you'd like a little bit more. We're here for 10. Slowly lower to a sphinx pose. Bring your arms like the number 11 and then some distance between your feet. Yogi's choice. I recommend active, but you can make this passive. Soften your chin to chest if you'd like. Keep your heart pulling forward and then drop your pelvis towards the ear to lengthen your low back. And then we're going to fire up our core even more. You can choose your level. Maybe today you need more rest. You stay here. This could be your advanced shape. If you're shoulder injured, I recommend bringing your palms a little closer together. But keep your elbows drawing through center. Fire up your core first. Tuck your toes under. Yogi's choice. You could stay here. Second round of plank. Or uh, forearm. Dolphin pose. <laughs> Walk your feet towards your face. Just like down dog, but you're on your forearm. And then eventually your hips might stack over your shoulders, gaze between your elbows. If you want more, you're still connected to your breath. You might play with floating one leg at a time. And if you are working on Pinchamayarasana, we'll come back to this shape a little later on. So pace yourself. If you floated a leg, switch. And again, last 10 seconds wherever you're at. Deepen your breath. <laughs> Beautiful variations, drop to your belly. And then find a crocodile pull, stack palm on top of palm, bring forehead to rest. Use this time to slow down your breath, little windshield wiper if you'd like to take. And then gently lift your gaze, bring your ankles back to touch. And then extend your left arm forward, reach your right arm underneath. So we're creating a little T, bring it back through center. And then just slowly drop your chin onto your upper arm, soften through your shoulders here. Take a couple deep, full breaths. And just allow the weight of your head to help open through your shoulders. Take one more full inhale. And soften, exhale. Inhale, gently lift your gaze. Switch out your arms. Extend your right arm forward. Crawl your left arm under. And then bring them back through center. And drop your chin to soften on your right shoulder. Beautiful. Use your inhale, slowly unwind. And keep your ankles touching. Release your grip. Find a single fist at your low back. And then on your inhale, reach your fist towards your heels. Inhale, slowly rise, bound locust pose. Rise, take one more full inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Drop just your forehead to the earth. We'll take rolling bow. So don't come to your depth on the first round. Grab your heels from the outside. Draw everything towards center. And then on your inhale, kick into your grip. Come part way up. Let your shoulders be pulled back and away. Exhale, slowly lower. Next inhale, kick and rise. Come a little bit higher, not your full depth. Pause at the top. Exhale, soften. And then this time, inhale, kick into your grip. 
full expression. Whatever that means for you today. Kick a little bit higher. Rock forward. Exhale. Release. Plant your palms and find a quick breath in child's pose. Shift your hips to meet your heels. Ground your forehead. And just notice how the shape has shifted since you arrived here last. <laughs> in child's pose, you can always stay here a little bit longer. Otherwise, you have about two breaths to transition to downward facing dog. If you want to add in a flow or a handstand, take what you need. And then find your downward facing dog if you're not there yet. <laughs> Down dog, take an inhale, fill. Exhale, run it out your mouth, little sigh, let it go. Take one more just like that, deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. And we'll find breath to movement, couple places adding on. And use your full inhale, extend your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, one time round and curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, rise high, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane torso. Inhale, five-pointed star, reach. Exhale, goddess, sit deep. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the front, settle. Inhale, two, reverse. Exhale, mandala into extended side angles, just optional, settle. Inhale, reverse warrior into reverse trikonasana. And this time, pause, bump your hips forward, shorten your stance, optional. Exhale, your hands back through center. Reach forward, bump your hips back, hands to six and 12. Stay here for a breath. The option is stay deep and maybe bind or shift your gaze, your drishti down, and shift forward for half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Hmm. Half moon, soften the bend into your standing knee, land softly, warrior two. Inhale to reverse, take it back. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back, plank pose to downward facing dog. Really nice transition, strong Jackie. Beautiful. Down dog, inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Rise on your inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, fly your torso. Inhale, five-pointed star, reach. Exhale, goddess, sit. Inhale, take up space, rise. Exhale, warrior two to the front, settle in. Inhale, to reverse. Exhale, take it into extended side angle, whatever way you'd like to arrive, broaden through your heart. Inhale, reverse Trikonasana, take it back. Exhale, extended Trikonasana. Take your time to arrive. And again, option is stay here, deep in your shape, or shift your gaze down, bend into your left knee first, shift forward, Ardha Chandrasana. Work to roll your right hip open, activate through your right foot. And don't lose your breath. Really nice focus. Ardha Chandrasana, soften your standing leg. Land softly, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Take it back. Exhale, hands to the air. Step back, plank pose. Breath to move. Now, now take a deep inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go out your mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, extend your right foot. Exhale, knee to nose, one time round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, rise, high crescent lunge. Exhale, full airplane launch forward. Careful if you're in the front row. <laughs> Soften the bend into your standing knee, land softly, five-pointed star, open up. Exhale, goddess, sit deep. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two, settle. Inhale, two, reverse. 
exhale to extend. Inhale, reverse Trikonasana, take it back. Exhale, extended Trikonasana. Yogi's choice, stay or half moon pose. Half moon pose, once you found your groundedness, your stability, your ease within your strength, your option to bend at your left knee, capture it from the pinky edge for sugar cane. And then we'll pause for a breath, play with your expression, your depth. Sugar cane, release slowly. Land softly, warrior two. Inhale to reverse, take it back. And then exhale your hands to the earth. Step back, plank pose option again to flow. Beautiful. Down dog, ease your full. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, rise high, crescent lunge. Exhale, full airplane, launch forward and find length, big toe to your crown, three. Soften the bend into your standing knee, inhale, five-pointed star, reach. Exhale, goddess 50. Inhale, five-pointed. Exhale, warrior two to the front and settle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale to extend. Inhale, reverse Trikonasana, take it back. Exhale, extended Trikonasana. And then yogi's choice, stay deepen, maybe half moon. Move slowly with your transition. Option for sugar cane, kick into your grip. There's a little bit of a back bend like quality here. Nice, Anna. Sugar cane, release your grip. Soften the bend into your standing knee, land softly, long, graceful step back, warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, hands to the earth, and then your breath to your movement. Take it back. Down dog, take a full inhale as you arrive. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. And then we'll add on, on your inhale. And this time, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, full. Inhale, chair pose, ukitasana. Like we've been here before, right? Exhale, eagle on the left. See if you can find another layer of depth. We've been here once before. Can you sit a little bit deeper? Find a little more length through your spine. And then notice your breath. On your inhale, standing knee raise, keep your arm. Option to extend your left foot forward for an inhale. Exhale like it's a pendulum, bound warrior three, kick it back, find length. Slight press of your elbows forward, reach your left hip tip to the earth and then lengthen for an inhale. Release your arms, full airplane. And then inhale, step back, rise high crescent left. Beautiful transition. Exhale, airplane crescent. Inhale, five-pointed star, reach. Exhale, goddess, sit deep. Inhale, one more time, take up space. And this time, exhale, warrior two to the front and settle. Inhale to reverse. Option to find your half bind here, but don't lose the bend. Exhale, extended side angle. Options will pause if you'd like to take a half or a full bind. Make sure you stay broad through your heart. Don't lose your breath. And stay for one more inhale. Rotate your left shoulder towards the sky. And then binds. Option to keep your half bind. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. Take it back. And exhale. <laughs> Parallel your feet. Drop your hands through center and fold from your hips. Find prasarita wide legged forward fold. You've got some time to settle in here. Keep your weight shifting forward. And then yogi playtime. We've got several more breaths here. You could use this time. Come back to stillness.
And then variations, you've got another breath or two to explore. If you're taking something on one side, take it on the other. And then pause, bring your palms beneath your shoulders. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Turn your left toes towards the back, option to widen your stance. And then bend into your left knee, find skandhasana. Or side lunge, pause where you feel sensation. Full skandhasana, eventually your left heel back to the earth and then think malasana through your torso, settle in. Option to keep your palms at heart or to the earth. Take it once to the front. Option to lengthen your stance and settle in. Couple breaths. And drop your palms to the earth, parallel your feet through prasarita. Inhale to a halfway lift, finally. Exhale, quarter turn to the front, low lunge and pause. Plant your left palm, inhale into a simple twist. Option to stay here or side plank. Spiral onto the outer edge of both feet, modified or full vashisthasana. Press your hips towards the sky. Option for leg variations, wild things. Where are you feeling called to move in this moment? Nice Mina. Variations come back through side plank. On your exhale, roll through center. And the next exhale, lower. Take an inhale in between. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Hmm. Down dog, take a full deep exhale. Let something go. One more time on the left. Use your inhale, fan your left leg. Huh? Exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Ah, just kidding. Downward facing dog. Thanks, guys. I can tell you're moving slow. <laughs> Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full. Inhale, chair pose. You guys wanted the chair pose. I know it. <laughs> Exhale, right arm underneath. Find your eagle. Take your time here. Make sure you're still breathing as you're in it. And then sit a little bit deeper, lengthen, draw your heart proud and high. On your inhale, unwind your legs, bring your right knee in line with your hip and keep your arms. Option to extend your right foot forward on an in-breath. Exhale like a pendulum, bound warrior three, send it back. Rotate your right hip to the earth, activate your right foot to grow long. Take another inhale. Release your arms, find airplane pull. Soften your standing leg, inhale, high crescent land, soften. Exhale, airplane crescent pull. Inhale, five pointed star, reach. Exhale, goddess, sit deep. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale to reverse. Option for your half bind here. And then exhale to extend. Take your time. Stay broad, wide through your collarbone. Careful not to pick up anything in your face. If you're not binding and you took it on the other side, option two. And stay really active through your legs. So we're not settling with our left elbow there. Notice. Binds on one. Inhale, reverse warrior. Just one more time. And then square your arms, square your toes. Exhale, option for uh, chest expansion. Reach your fist towards the earth and then hinge it, send them towards the sky. And again, we're here a little bit less time this round. But if you'd like to spice it up, your body wants to move, take it. you're still in chest expansion, send your fist a little bit closer towards the entrance, the white wall. And then by way of your back, release your fists. Plant your palms beneath your shoulders. Inhale to a halfway lift, finally. Exhale, this time deepen your fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Turn your right toes out. And then bend into your right knee. We'll come back into Skandasana or side lunge. Play with your ass. And then options this time, if you'd like to take a little twist or maybe a bind, broaden through your heart. Leave your left toes towards the sky if you're taking it. As you're ready, transition to the front and mirror whatever variation you took. If it was a twist, maybe a bind. 
a nice expression. Beautiful, as you're even, drop your palms to the earth and then inhale, press Rita, parallel your feet, take a halfway lift. Exhale, quarter turn to the front, low lunge. Plant your right palm, simple twist or vashi stasana, side flick. Come on to the outer edge of your feet first. And then options, variations, play. As you're ready, variations, come back through Vashi Stasana. Exhale through plank pose, pause for an in-breath. Exhale, shift forward, lower halfway, your flow. Really nice. Down, down, on your inhale, extend your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, ground last time. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, right knee, right upper arm, and then step outside of your right palm. Lengthen your stance. Option is stay here and hold or two pulses on your inhale. Drop your hips, gaze high. Exhale, modified pyramid round and curl. Take out one more time if you'd like. And then pause back in a neutral spine. Drop your back knee to the ear. And then sink your hips back. Check out this modified variation with your foot at an angle. Option is stay here or take it in traditional Ardha Hanuman. And then again, we have a couple breaths here. So you might start to soften in. You could sink your hips to your heels. Maybe full Hanuman. Check in with your hamstrings first. And then take at least one more full yogi breath, two steps. If you're in an expression, make your way back to Ardha Hanuman. Take your time, especially if you took it into full. And then inhale, shift forward to a low lunge. Step back to a plank pose, to downward facing dog. If you want to add a flow, you're more than welcome. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, last time round. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, left knee, left upper arm, bring it higher. And then step just outside your left palm, lengthen your stance. You have two pulses. Inhale, to find length through your spine, broaden your heart. Exhale, dome and round, straight. Take it one more time. And then meet back in a neutral spine, drop your back knee to the earth. And then shift your hips back, modified Ardha Hanuman. And then your variation, take your time, whatever it is. Maybe this side is asking for something a little bit different. Just tune in. If you're holding, sometimes I like to find little micro movements just through my ankle. And you'll feel a little subtle shift. <laughs> or maybe big shifts, huh? <laughs> And then whatever shape you're in, breathe into it for another round. And then variations, take your time, especially full Hanuman, come back. Inhale to a low lunge. Step your foot back through center, step back, plank pulse. Room for a final flow if you'd like to take it. Beautiful. And then I told you guys we come back here. Drop to your knees for a moment. We're coming into dolphin pose, options to add on. But first, Jesse, I might have stole this one from you. <laughs> We're going to do cat-cow on our forearm. So as you do this, just breathe into the back of your heart. Visualize on your inhale as you lengthen your heart towards the earth, tailbone towards the sky. And then exhale, round and puff. That's the same engagement that we'll find as we come in. Take a couple rounds. And just focus your breath on your shoulders, the back of your heart. Yeah. And then you can always stay here. You can take this. You could take a child's pose. Sometimes that is the advanced shape. 
Otherwise, we're setting up for dolphin pose, maybe pincha. If your shoulder injured, again, bring your palms together. Keep your elbows drawing in through center. If you know this, you don't need to watch me. You're welcome to come in. <laughs> Otherwise, press into your elbows, puff through your heart. This engagement we want to keep. See the shoulders drawing up? Here's not. And there's the engagement we're looking for. And then tuck your toes. And maybe you stay here. You're getting full benefits of the shape just as you are. Maybe walk your feet towards your face. Option to extend a leg. Keep your hips spiraling in. And then maybe you stay here or maybe just little lifts. Yeah, not kicks, lifts, core. Yeah. And if you want a spot, you have a question, just give me a little way. And you're a little slippery, so stay mindful. <laughs> and we're here for a little while, so if you need to drop out, come right back in. Nice setup, Beth. Nice, Jesse. Nice, Anna. I saw that hang time. <laughs> Wherever you've at, you've got about five, six more breaths to play. When you've had enough, I'll know. We'll meet in a child's pose whenever you're ready. And that shape is also much more challenging after you've done some cardio. <laughs> so just know. <laughs> Once you're in child's pose, refocus your breath. Notice the quality. Child's pose, press into your palms, slowly rise to a seat. And you're more than welcome to take pigeon pose. Otherwise, I'll cue you through Gomukhasana. Check in with your hips first. Uh, I would set up a fire log first, uh, just like double pigeon, your feet are flexed, knees are stacked. If this is too much, just right shin in front. Otherwise, go mukasana, knee pile, stack your knees, sometimes good to shift forward and then glue your sitting bones back to the earth, flex your feet. Option is stay here or bend at your left elbow, maybe just grab a hold or ganesh. You could also capture clothes here as well. And then broaden for an inhale. If you want more sensation, keep your sitting bones glued, soften forward. If you have the arm variation, find a slight press, just gentle back of your head into your upper arm. And then breathing here, yeah? Notice your breath. Bring it back. If you've softened forward, use your inhale, slowly rise, release your grip. Option for a counter stretch, bring your feet wide, find a little windshield wiper. And then set it up on the left, whatever variation you chose. Maybe that's fire log, this side might feel slightly or a lot more different. And then maybe shift forward. You could soften down your eyes. If you want the arms, it's your right arm that bends. And then maybe you stay upright or on your exhale, soften and round. Can you use your next exhale to find a little more ease in this shape, especially if it's uncomfortable? And then only as you feel even, slowly come back upright, unwind your arms, your legs, option for a second little windshield wiper. And then navigate your way onto your back. As you arrive, ground through the back of your hips, draw your knees up and into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, up an asana. You could find movement along your spine. And then release your soles of your feet to the earth. We have three rounds of bridge or wheel. Our third round, I'll show you an alternate shape. Some of you ready for a forearm bridge. But just setting up bridge first. If you want three rounds of wheel, take it. Ground through your feet. Use your inhale. Press your hips towards the sky. Find length through your spine. And then option to find a single fist. Reach it towards the front. You've got three full breaths. 
and engage more through your inner thighs to release through your glutes. Mm. And then only you'll know as you reach the bottom of that third breath, release your grip and then round down slowly, strong tuck of your tail at the end. Bring your feet wide, knees to touch and center. Take two rounds of breath. And then option for a second round of bridge pull, Satu Bandhasana, realign your feet so they're parallel beneath your knees. For wheel pose, bring your palms by your ears, fingertips to face your body. And then inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips. Option to press into your palms, come onto the crown of your head and then straighten through your arm. You've got three full breaths again, really pretty, Emma. Wheel as you're ready to come out, slowly lower crown of your head first, back of your head, and then slow down. Yogi's choice, second round of constructive rest or drop your knees wide, Sukta Baddha Kanasana. Beautiful. So third round of wheel, we have five rounds of breath. You could always take it as bridge. And there's a few of you that can come into forearm wheel. If you want to take it a step further, but don't force this one, you can go too deep. You'll come into bridge pose. I'm going to demo for you if you want to see it. Otherwise, come on into wheel. You can have some extra breath. Forearm wheel. And you come into bridge pose, your wheel. And then slowly lower back onto your crown. And then setting up just like you would for traditional Shirshasana headstand, interlace your fingers and then draw your elbows inward just to frame your face. Press into your elbows, press your heart forward, and then walk your feet closer. This is too intense, don't push it. Whatever shape you've chosen, come on in. <laughs> and then when you're complete, Come down and find Supta Baddha Kanasana. Close down your eyes. <laughs> Supta Baddha, drop your knees wide, soles of your feet to touch. And then Yogi's Choice, one palm to heart, one palm to low belly. Or a little cactus. -y. And then take a few deep, full belly breaths. And soup to body, you can always stay a little bit longer. Otherwise, on your inhale, draw your palms to your knees, gather your knees towards center. And then send your feet straight to the sky, four legs up the wall post. Option to stay here. If you'd like a deep counter stretch, make sure you stay open through your throat. Take it into halasana, plow pose. Take a few breaths in halasana first. And then if you'd like to take it further, Karnapadasana, deaf man's pose, bend at your knees, bring them outside your ears, or full shoulder stand. And if you have a favorite variation in any of these expressions, option to find it. And wherever you're at, you've got another three full deep yogi breaths. As you're ready to come out, shoulder stand, Karnapadasana, find Halasana first. Use your palms as breaks, slowly lower. As your hips meet the earth, bend at your knees, find happy baby pull. Ananda Balasana. And there's some room for play, movement, if you'd like to take it. And then happy baby, pause back in center. Release your feet on an exhale. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then release your soles of your feet back to the earth, but bring them wide about mat's width distance. T or cactus out your arms. 
On your inhale, bump your hips to the right, drop your knees to the left. And then option is stay right here or variation of your choice. If you want a variation, hook your left outer edge of your foot, your pinky edge, onto the right knee. <laughs> and then just gently. <laughs> Good deep in with your out breath. Soften at least through your belly, through your jaw, and allow your breath to return to its normal cadence. So if you hooked your foot, remove it, and then inhale your knees back towards the sky. Exhale, bump your hips to the left, drop your knees to the right, settle first. And then option to hook your right pinky edge of your foot on your left knee. And if that tweaks your back in any way, come back out. Otherwise, keep softening. And then take one more full deep belly breath in. And exhale, let it go. On your inhale, bring your legs back through center, unwind. Gather your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then exhale your way to final Shavasana. And close down your eyes, take up space. And bring a slight part to your lips. Allow your tongue to fall down and away. And then let's take one final breath together as a class. Take an inhale to fill. Exhale, let it go and soften into your space. Do your best to stay in stillness. And then there's always an invitation to stay resting in stillness. If you're ready to be guided out, start by deepening your breath. And then invite little movements to your fingers and your toes. Find a gentle rock of your legs in and out. Reawaken your hip flexors. And then on your next inhale, reach your arms long overhead like a good morning stretch. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest and stay for a full deep inhale. On your exhale, gently rock off to fetal pulse, whichever side speaks to you first. Traditionally, your left side would be your more receptive lunar. 
I'm going to settle for a breath. And then as you're ready, keeping your gaze soft, if not closed, press to a comfortable seat towards the front. Align your crown, your heart over your hips. And then draw your palms to Anjali Mudra or prayer. Mm. And send with one more breath all together. Take an inhale to fill. And exhale, let it go. On your next in-breath, rise your thumbs to your third eye center. Make a little contact. Thank you so much for sharing your breath and your energy, your movement in this space. In gratitude, we bow. Namaste. Thank you, friends. Take your time. Uh, we've got a couple still in Shavasana. I'll see you on the other side.